What's up, everybody? It's Derek Lambert, and I'm up almost five years clean. October the 25th was my clean date, and that's the recorded clean date from the newspaper, which means I might have been clean a few days prior because I was withdrawn on the 23rd or something. Either way, I just say the 25th because that's when I know I left the lady's house and I saw the newspaper with the syringe and the arm on Fayetteville's uh, front page saying uh, there was a heroin epidemic. I found myself. I feel complete. I don't. All my problems can be solved without having to use drugs or alcohol these days. Yeah, that doesn't mean I don't have problems, but I know how to solve them differently. And I'm somebody I don't think I've never been diagnosed where I suffer from like a natural depression. I get depressed from time to time, but I think most humans do. I don't suffer from like natural mental illnesses like that, like uh, natural mental health problems where I need, you know, to take something chemically to help balance my mind or anything. And so I guess I'm I'm really lucky on that part, you know, that I'm not needing anything to maintain and stay good to go, you know. But I wanted to make this video to let you guys know that it's possible, it's not over till it's over. And I'm going to keep going, you know. I'm just going to keep staying clean. Right now, I'm, I'm looking for employment. I'm located in North Carolina. I've been all around, guys. I tried to move to Florida. I was trying to go get hired at a rehab down in Florida during COVID-19. And that fell through. Everything fell through with that. And so I've just been focusing on my family and trying to make the next step the right step, you know. And just doing the best I can to stay clean. It's not like I have to try to stay clean. I don't have to try anymore. It's not an effort on my part consciously to try and not use drugs or drink. I don't even think about it anymore. I literally don't even think about it. Like I have to see someone pick up a beer to remember, oh, you used to drink. Like I just don't think about it. It's not normal. It doesn't come naturally. And that's what happens after a long period of time is, and that can be dangerous for some people who, who, I guess you'd say start thinking they don't have a problem or they think they could just go and drink and use or they think, well, I can go back to to doing it and have control. I know better. I've already just, con- I, I just convinced myself and I don't need it. You know, I'm reminded of all the miserable times. I can take myself there and remember what it was like using. So if you're early on and you wonder, does it ever get better? That is an unquestionable, absolute yes, it will get better. There's not even words I could put into it. If there were words that I could make come to life like magic and make you experience them, I'm telling you the truth. That's all I could say. I'm absolutely telling you the truth when I say you do not have to live like that and it will get better. You have to figure out a way to get away and off of it. Right now, if you're in the chain constantly using, it's going to seem impossible. In fact, if you go to withdraw and you go to get help, go to a treatment center, go, you know, do something, you're going to th- you're going to look back and go, "How the heck did I get clean?" That's crazy thinking about how hard it had me latched, how difficult it was just to stop. But if you can stop and you can get around good people, places and things, I think your chances are higher in terms of actually getting and staying clean. And that to me would be the best option that you could possibly choose so with that being said I love you guys I'm just I had to do an update let you guys know where I'm at and I'm in a better place today than I ever thought I could be and you can be too you know it's not over till it's over so I love you and if you have a loved one who's struggling too dude there's hope don't give up Kurt's clean I'm so proud of him it's unbelievable. I had a dream that he he was about to die, and I was saying my farewell words to him. And, uh, you know, that same next day, he took off and uh, found a better way of living. So, you can too, alright? I love you.